Hi, my name is Miss Swenson, and today we're going to be talking about um, the note naming system for violin, viola, cello, and bass. This is the system that we can use for uh, any clef to figure out our note names quickly and efficiently. First, we need to know that the letters we use in our musical alphabet are the same as the first seven letters of our English alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And we use those continuously up um, our musical staffs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, over and over again. Now right now I'm just creating um, just any notes, just a random note on a, any line anywhere. We can make it any note name. I'm going to call it C for today, just to explain our system here. So if that note is C on the line, and I create another note directly above it that's on the next space, it's going to be one step up from C. So I look at my alphabet, and one up from C is D. Now I'm going to add another line. And putting a note on the line right above that space, again, we're going to go up one step. One step up from D is E. And the pattern can continue as long as we're adding notes. Remember that we need to go line, space, line, space to make sure they're one step apart. Now let's go below. If we have a space note below the C, we just go down one from C, which is B. Just going backwards in the alphabet. Then we go to our next note on a line. One down from B is A. Now this next note, some people get confused when we have to go down from A. But remember that our alphabet is continuous. Therefore, right below A is going to be G. And vice versa. If we went up from G, we would go to A. Just go up the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Or we can go backwards. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. We would start back again with the G if we were going backwards. Now to help you learn your note names, you have to know how your clef works. We're going to start with the treble clef, and that's for violins. And as long as we know one anchor note, we can figure out any note on the staff. I like to think of our anchor note for violins as the open D. As you can see, it's this bottom um, space here, right below the bottom line. Now let's say we need to want to find out this note up here in the middle line. All I'm going to do is write out each step. So the next line would be E, next space would be F, where I'm going space, line, space, line. Then G, next space, A, and then one up to that line, B. So it's very easy for me to count up using the alphabet and find my note. As long as I know the anchor note, open D, I could find any note on that staff. Now we'll go on to another clef, and it's the alto clef that the violas use. Their open D is on this second space from the top. So as long as they know that D, they can figure out any note. Let's do a note that's below our open D. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to mark each step, and we're going line or space to line. One down from D is C. One step down from C is B. Now the line. One step down from B is A. And remember, we go backwards in our alphabet here and go from A starting back at G. Last but not least here, we have the bass clef. And for our bass clef, the open D is the middle line. So as long as we know that open D, we can figure out anything. Now we're going to look for a ledger line today. A ledger line is a small line that's added because it's outside of our five uh, main lines. It can be above or below. As you see, we're counting up slowly. D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Let's look at that again. It's tough when we get to the ledger lines because it can be confusing. So our top line there is A. Right above that line would be B. 
and then that next line, which is our ledger line, is a C. Remember that we must go in order of space, then line, space, then line. So hopefully this gives you a good start on naming your note names. You now understand the system that we use. We use the first seven letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And as long as you know your anchor note, open D, on your clef, you can figure out any note. Hope this helps you with your note names, and thanks for watching.